Hello, my beautiful friends. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having an amazing week. I hope you had a great weekend. So today I thought we would just hang out and chat. Uh, we haven't done that in a while. I haven't been here for the past couple weeks. Again, I've done some shorter videos, but uh, this is where my heart is, the longer form videos. So I'm super excited to be back down here today. So today I just have a few new products I want to share with you guys. Um, some of these I've already tried, a few I haven't, but yeah, I thought we would just hang out catch up I just love doing that so if that seems like something you might enjoy please stick around because we're about to get into all that right now okay first I want to start off by saying a thank you so much to each and every one of you we have hit over 8,000 subscribers and I could not be more excited about that because yeah you guys I've been doing this for over four years now I think I started like in October of 2020 it was right after a COVID was really you know at its high peak and it was starting to calm down so yeah that's when I started so yeah it's been a little you know slow crawl but I am just so happy and I think a lot of you um recently came from my short form videos that I was putting out and I could not be more excited so that's how I did get a few of these newer uh, subscribers so I'm just really hoping that you stay uh, just follow me over there came over here and are here to watch my long form videos now so if you are I thank you uh, so very much because I truly truly appreciate it and that's what's gonna help my channel grow is you guys engaging uh, watching the videos um, if you stay you know a little longer without a uh, fast forwarding and it really really helps so I cannot thank you guys so much. I am just so over the moon happy. So yeah, thank you so much again. Okay, second of all, yeah, I've just been uh, so busy. I'm just going to go through the makeup. We're just going to hang out like I talked about and I'll go through some of these new products. And of course, my eyes are watering today. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I've been very busy. If you guys have been here for the past, I don't know, uh, recently, the past few weeks, um, well, prior to my <laughs> little missing in action again, um, I had some garage sales going. I plan on moving, hopefully in the spring of next year. Uh, we're going to be moving to Arizona. So I have 10 years of just, I mean, clutter and chaos that I had to get rid of. Okay, so what I just applied on my eyes is eye primer, and um, I get this right off Amazon if you are new, and everything I usually use will be in the description box below, and they are affiliate links, so I do get a small commission, but I truly do appreciate when you use those because it really does help me purchase some uh, makeup for future videos, and it, trust me, it really does help out a lot. Okay, so the first new thing I did get, it was through PR, um, and it's through uh, Urban Decay, and it looks like this I guess it's like a limited edition and it's called a moon dust and it's really cute how it opens so it just slides like this but the shades are really a pretty and I wish that you know my lighting would just show out show off uh, the sparkle a little better because it is really a sparkly really pretty so um, I used this the other day and I really do like the formula so let's uh, create the pretty much the same look I did uh, the other day and I meant to post it on um, you know one of these short videos but I realized that I did not film the end so <laughs> But not uh, post it, but you guys know how that is. So I'm going to start uh, with this shade right here. And I'm just using a really fluffy brush. It's, I think, a highlighting brush that I get on, um, what is it, Miss AOA. So, yeah, it just works out really good just to apply a lot of product at once. I had a lot of garage sales going on. What I would do is wake up like around 7 o'clock. I would kind of, you know, get myself to look a little presentable to uh, see people in public. And then Daryl and I would drive around the neighborhood, put out the signs, and then we would have to come back and, you know, put all of the um, things we were selling outside. So it was, you know, quite a process. And then we would open up the garage sale about 10 o'clock. Now, I will say we were super, super um, lucky. The weather was absolutely perfect for the past few uh, weekends. We had one that was a little iffy and people didn't come out as much during that day. But 
for the most part, we had a really good luck with the weather. Um, so now I'm going to go to this shade here. It's just a very neutral uh, shade. So yeah, this is just a very <laughs> neutral palette, but it's really nice because, um, yeah, for travel and stuff like this, you could just throw this in a bag and not worry about it. So I really um, appreciate <laughs> the tones. I love a neutral uh, palette. So, and it seems like the formula is pretty uh, good. Yes, yeah, so the garage sale, um, of course it probably wasn't as busy um, if I was to have it, you know, had had it in the summer, which I don't understand because I would not want to do a garage sale in the summer because it's so hot and humid um, in Michigan most of the time. And, you know, the weather is super unpredictable. And I would be sitting in my garage, you know, sweating to death. And people would be sweating to death looking at the products out in the driveway. I think when we had it, it was actually perfect. You know, the weather was like around 70s. We did have one weekend where we got back up to 80. I was just shocked. But even then, it was still nice because we had a nice a breeze. So... Yeah, so that's what we've been doing. I've been so busy with these garage sales. I am done. I am not having any more uh, garage sales this season. Um, probably before we move, we probably will have one in the spring just to get rid of uh, the stuff I couldn't get rid of right now. But as you know, as of now, I am done with garage sales. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this shade right here. Now, the interesting thing about uh, this shade here is I'm hoping you guys will catch it. There's like a little bit of sparkle in it, but what I found when I uh, placed it on the lid is that it does kind of go away the more you blend out. Like, it's not super, super uh, sparkly, so it's really uh, pretty, actually. I'm just placing that on the outer portion of my eye and kind of like in my natural uh, crease because I'm just trying to really darken uh, that area up. Look how pretty that is. It's such a beautiful shade and I'm not really seeing any sparkle whatsoever. So yeah, the garage sales, woo, you got... <laughs> You definitely run into some characters. I'm sure if you've ever had a garage sale, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, and everybody doesn't want to, they want it pretty much for free. And here's the funny thing, you know, at the end of the garage sale when I was done, the last Sunday, it was like around, I don't know, we were closing up, I think it was 5 o'clock that day. And about, I don't know, 3.30, I basically was saying, okay, that's free, that's free. And they still wasn't taking it. You know, I don't know. They didn't want to spend any money, but then they didn't even want to take it either. So um, what I ended up doing is calling the uh, Vietnam Veterans of America. And they came and picked up uh, most of it. Now, the one here in Michigan, they don't do large, you know, furniture, and I really only had a couple of pieces of furniture, but for the most part, they picked up everything else, so I thought that was really nice, and it's going to go to somebody, you know, families that really could use uh, this stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this pretty shade here. It's more... You know, there's a lot of shifts to it, so I'm seeing a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach, and yeah, it's just really pretty. So I'm just going to place that on my finger, and hopefully you guys can tell um, all the different and beautiful shifts. So it's not super a uh, chunky glitter, so I don't even have to use a glitter glue, what I found when I used this. Um, I didn't feel like I had tons of little sparkles of... Um, glitter flying all around but look how pretty uh, that is hopefully again in this lighting you guys will be able to pick up all the different uh shifts so oh why did i put that brush back i do that all the time here we go i have to find my brush right in front of me okay so after i apply my glitter i do go back in on the edge here just to kind of Blend the two together just so there's not that distinct, huge, huge um, ledge there. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with that shade. Yeah, with this palette, it's just very easy to come up with a look. I mean, I'm pretty much going to use all the shades in here. I'm not going to use um, the more silver one, but yeah, it's just very, very easy a palette. So 
Again, I'm just going to do the, yeah, oh gosh, this is pretty. It kind of reminds me of the new Natasha Denona, I Need a Warm Palette. You remember that really pretty, a uh, shifty one? That's what this one reminds me of. Now, it's not as pigmented as uh, the Natasha Denona, but it's very, very uh, similar. Okay, so now what I'm going to go into is this really a pretty shade right here. And then I'm just going to place that on my pinky. But as you're going to see, it's not super, super bold and chunky. Um, it looks more bold in the pan, but it's bold enough. So I'm just going to take that, place that in the inner corner, and what, whatever is left on my pinky, I'm just going to swipe that across that first glitter a shade that I applied and now I'm just going to take this little brush and blend everything in. Okay, so when they sent over this really uh, cute um, PR, uh, it came with an eyeliner as well and it's their, you know, 24 or 7 eyeliner. But this one, let me show you what it looks like. This one has like a little bit of glitter in it. So it's not really um, pigmented, you know, where you could, I don't think, you know, line your um, eyelid with it, you know, so uh, this one kind of confuses me. It might be really pretty to do like an accent, but the other day I just put it in my inner corner and uh, did that, but it's just very interesting because it does have a little bit of glitter in that. Okay, so I am going to wipe this off though because I did receive some new um, eyeliners and I'm super excited about these. I've never heard of this brand. They kind of just reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to try um, <laughs> these eyeliners? And I'm like, absolutely, because it's designed for mature, a uh, more mature skin, so, or eyelids and stuff like that. And it's called Revent. Have you guys heard of this? So, um, yeah, they sent over all of these amazing uh, shades here. So, uh, there's a black, there's a brown, a purple, navy, green, and gray. So, let me um, just swatch a few right now so you guys can see what it looks like. But um, this is the packaging, a super uh, pretty. Uh, it looks kind of fancy. And honestly, I haven't even seen how much uh, these cost. So, I'll place that somewhere up here and hopefully they're not uh, too expensive so oh look at the packaging i love this it's just very uh, nice i think this might yeah there's a sharpener um on this end here so let's oh my gosh that sharpener when i did that it went flying off i did not secure it back on okay so let's see what this looks like so it does have a nice a pointy a tip there and I'm just going to swatch. Ooh, they're super creamy. So these are called um, just gel eyeliners. Now it says intense color, extreme rare wear, <laughs> and waterproof. And it's supposed to be smudge proof and everything. So that's why you know me with my waterproof uh, products. I was super excited to try these because you know me, I'll be putting this uh, to the test. So let me swatch all the other colors and I'll come back and show them um, all to you. So that is the black right here. Okay, when they say intense a color, they mean it. I mean, these are super intense and beautiful. So that's the black, that's the purple, brown, a navy, a green, and gray. So really pretty. They are super, super um creamy. They just glided across my hand without any effort. So I'm really excited to try these. So uh, the two shades I kept out, I just want to be a little crazy, are the green and the brown. So let's line the upper eyelid with the green. I think that would be really uh, pretty uh, with this look very fall. So let's see how. Oh yeah, this just glides across the lid and what's nice is because my lids are very um wrinkly <laughs> and have a lot of loose skin so the older i get the harder it is to just apply my um eyeliner like this you know a lot of people you know it is easier i don't care you know people say don't tug on your eye well sometimes you almost have to if you have a lot of skin so um i'm finding it very hard to apply my liners without, you know, doing that. So 
Like I said, my eyes are watering, so I'm just interested to see how it's going to apply over um, where it's watering. And it seems to be, um, there should, you know, usually I cannot apply anything where it's watering. And as you can see, I was able to do so. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe, makeup wipe, and sharpen uh, that edge there. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, I love that I added this green. Okay, and uh, for the, my pore filler, I think what I'm going to use today is by Miss AOA. This is such a great a pore filler um, or, and primer. Yeah, it just really does a nice job. Okay, and for my foundation, what I brought down, okay, <laughs> couldn't find it, is this here. Um, I received this in PR a while ago, and I can, I couldn't remember if I uh, did a video on this, and I really don't think I did. I think I used uh, the one in the green uh, packaging, which is more of a more matte finish, but I don't think I did uh, this one yet. And uh, this is their CC Cream. It's a color correcting, full coverage cream and anti-aging hydrating serum. And this has SPF of 50 in it, and um, I'm going to be using the shade Light Medium. Now, this shade is a little too, I don't know, deep or yellow for me. And then they sent me another one, and that one is just way too dark for me. So what I'm going to do is just place a two pumps um, on this cute little, I got this off, Miss AOA too, maybe two and a half pumps. And what I find I have to do, hold on, I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. So, yeah, as you can see, hopefully you guys will be able to tell and the monitor it just has a little bit of uh yeah like a yellow i don't know it just doesn't match my skin um the way i want it to so what i'm going to do is add a little bit of this blue um by la girl i mean very little because this blue is super super pigmented so i mean like that much <laughs> you do not need a lot otherwise your uh, foundation will turn blue and what that does is just kind of neutralize uh, that yellow tone it down just slightly and hopefully I got just enough of the blue to calm it down just slightly yeah as you can see it just took away hopefully you guys can tell just enough of that yellow I have used this um, foundation uh, several times and I've been you know meaning to bring it on the channel and you know just something else comes along um, all the time so and then they sent me um, this really cool a uh, brush it's a dual ended brush so this side I usually apply um, you know of course my foundation and this side I actually use uh, for several uh, different reasons you can use it for um, your concealer and but I use it a lot for like my a uh, pot what is it <laughs> bronzers so that's what I use that side for but as you can see, it's such a beautiful a foundation. I probably could have added just a little bit more blue, but we're going to be okay. I'm just going to drag that down my neck. Okay, so <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. I got it, tons of it in my hair here. Oh, well, I'll fix that in a bit. Okay, and then with my foundations to make it look really smooth, I always use a brush for the most part. Um, very rare do I not use a, a tool, um, except, it, you know, if it's like an essence or something like that. But I use the brush, and then I always go in with a barely a damp a sponge. And I find that that just gives me the most smooth application. So, and also it just takes away any excess um, foundation that you don't really need. So, and especially around my mouth. I don't want... A lot of, you know, cakiness around my mouth. So, yeah, this looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do, um, what I've been doing uh, lately, is I'm just going to take my sponge and a little bit of what's left on the palette. See, I hardly used um, probably even a pump. And look at the coverage I have going on. Okay, so and I've been using whatever I'm using for my foundation just as my concealer. Okay, so right now we're gonna take a little pause because um, they sent this to me a long time ago and then they sent this. So 
we're going to be having a giveaway. <laughs> I'm so happy because we can celebrate the 8,000 uh, subscribers and one of you guys will win this. Um, it's by It Cosmetics. You get this bag and hold on. Um, and I'm going to be uh, swatching something. So if you don't mind um, getting this, you know, knowing that I'm going to be doing something. Hold on. I'll just go. <laughs> you know me. I start rattling. You're going to get the dual ended a brush. So uh, you're going to get this. And it comes with isn't this cute like a eye a sleeping a mask here so you're gonna get that and then you're gonna get this um this is their new it's called like their a uh, bronzer a blush um scenario and this is in the shade a uh, sun blush so I haven't opened it or anything but that is uh, the shade here I love this you guys have seen me use this on the channel um, several times so yeah it's supposed to uh, work as a bronzer and blush at the same time so you can apply it you know, on your forehead everything so it's really nice you will uh, love this um, there's just like a little card in here it's called um, because it's a travel thing it's called uh, it first class uh, <laughs> it cosmetics and it has a little stuff on the back so you, I'll keep that in here and then um, you're going to get uh, two different uh, shades. So if this is your shade, um, definitely get in the giveaway or if you know somebody um, like a niece or anything. So uh, the one's light medium and I think that's kind of just what I used and medium. So what I'm saying is I have to swatch these just so you guys, you know, know what the shade is um, and to see if it's something that might work for you. So I'm just going to place this one here I'm just going to use just very a little uh, that one is the medium and this one here is a light medium okay so this one here is light medium as you can see it has like almost like a peach undertone um, and this one is medium so um, and again if it's too light for you you can use adjusters uh, like I showed you you can use either um, a white adjuster if it's too dark or the blue if it's too yellow if you need to deepen it you can always use a bronzing drop so you can always all you know alter um, your foundation so again if that's not your exact a uh, shade you know you can do some adjusting uh, for sure you guys have seen me do it a hundred times on this channel so that is the giveaway. Um, everything, you know, all the rules will be in the description box below. So make sure to follow those uh, to the T because, yeah, I would be so excited. You know, whoever's going to get that is really a good uh, giveaway. So super excited. And I'm so happy to share it um, with one of you. And, yeah, good luck to all of you because, again, that is a really fun <laughs> giveaway. Okay, and for a, a bronzer, what I brought down is, uh, what did I bring down? Did I bring down a cream one? No, I didn't bring down any a cream a product. So um, I'm actually going to uh, set the face. And what I'm going to use uh, for the powder is by Rare Beauty. Um, I've had this in my purse, and I keep forgetting to bring it down because I think I only used it on the channel uh, once. So I really I love this powder. It's super uh, blurring. So I'm just going to take um, a brush here, and I believe I got mine in the shade Ivory. So um, I'm just going to place that on a really fluffy brush. This is the BK, um, and this is the 104. And I'm just going to set my face. I'm not going to use a lot of powder because this is almost, um, you could probably use this like as a foundation powder. So it's a little thicker than most powders. And what I love about it, it's not too powdery. You know, you don't have that powdery look. And almost like, I don't know, it just seems like it melts into uh, the skin. Yeah, I'm not going to set under my eyes. I think I'm just going to use a setting spray because this one, like I said, it's not super matte and it's not super glowy it's just right in the middle so i don't feel like i do have to uh, set the under eyes okay and for bronzer i'm just going to use uh, this one here by elf uh and this is the primer infused matte bronzer and uh, this is in the shade a uh, tan o'clock so i really do uh, love this uh, primer infused uh, <laughs> collection here because it's really really uh, i keep hitting my <laughs> Stanley cup here with my br uh, brushes. So if you keep hearing uh, like a dinghy, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So um, anyway, I do love that um, collection of theirs, the primer infused products, because this is very smoothing on mature skin. 
Um, it's very long wearing and I do love this shade. Um, as you will see, it's like almost perfect, especially for my skin tone right now. And it blends out super easy um, and evenly. Then I'm just gonna place a little bit around the jawline, bring it down the neck, just to make everything a little bit more even. Uh, Cause like I mentioned, it still was a little dark. Okay, so I think that looks really good. And actually I'm gonna place a little bit under the lip. That just kind of makes the lip appear a little bit more full. Okay, so um, the blush I brought down is this one here. I have had this, I can't even tell you how long, in that bag that I showed you that one time. I have a bag up there full of stuff that I want to review or something, and there's still stuff in there. Uh, but this is the Primer Infused Matte Blush. I've used other uh, these blushes before, and they're absolutely uh, perfect. And this is in the shade um, Always a Crushing. So I thought this would look really good with this uh, look what I have going on. And the brush I'm gonna be using is this one here by um, Allie Glines. I love this brush. So I am gonna clean it off a little bit because I think some of her product is on there. And I do want to um, see what the shade is. So this one might be a little bit too pink for this look, but we're gonna make it work. So oh, I think it will be okay. Okay, so what? Why I love Allie Glines a blood <laughs> why I love Allie Glines brush is so much. It is so soft and see how it's like the perfect um, amount of bristles and stuff. So it's not taking up so much space on my face. You know, I can stay pretty localized uh, where I want my blush placement. So I absolutely love it. And if I apply too much, it just really buffs it out beautifully. So yeah, I've been really loving her brush here. And honestly, everything that she has um, come up with because, yeah, you guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> I said it in my little short video, and I'm going to say it. Oh, I don't even know if I posted that yet, but I'm going to tell you now. I really, you know, feel she is going to hit Sephora one day because, yeah, her makeup is honestly that amazing. Okay, so I am going to set my face, and what I'm going to set it with, um, oh, I did bring down, I knew it, <laughs> I did bring down a cream br uh, bronzer, and that was going to be uh, by Miss AOA, so, yeah, maybe another day. I knew I had brought it down, I'm like, oh, maybe I didn't, <laughs> so let's set the face, and what I'm going to use is my uh, Fab Luke's, and I love the setting spray, it's a wonderful uh, mister. And then I love uh, taking my sponge and, you know, placing a little bit on the sponge. And like I had mentioned, I'm going to go in and set my under eyes. And before I do that, I just make sure nothing is creasing. And you got to be a little light handed because you don't want to lift any of the um, product that you've already put down. Okay, let's go back into the, uh, this eyeliner. I really want to try uh, this brown. And I'm really tempted to uh, place it on my waterline. You guys know how I never do that, but I'm very tempted. So let's uh, do that. Again, this is the shade of brown. So I'm going to place that all along the waterline. And I will be uh, kind of smudging that out. Ooh, that is really pretty. And like I mentioned, uh, my eyes are watering like crazy. So this is going to be really a put to the test. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what that looks like. Um, super, super pretty. I really am enjoying these so far. And, you know, hopefully it does what it says. Now I'm going to go back into uh, the palette. And I'm just going to grab like a little smudging a brush here. And I'm just going to use uh, this shade right here. And just really smudge and set that eyeliner. It does smudge out pretty good. And I'm sure at some point when it starts setting, it won't be as easy. Oh, that looks really uh, pretty. Now I kind of want to do something. Let's go into the space, a cowboy. And let's just place that in the inner corner. Oh, that is really beautiful. Hope you guys can see. I mean, there, uh, there's a lot of sparkle to that eyeliner. Ooh, that is really pretty. 
Okay, so uh, the only thing we have left is uh, mascara and lipstick. And I wanted to bring down uh, this again. I haven't used this in forever. It's by City of Beauty. If you guys remember, they had sent this to me a while back along with some lip glosses. But I have not used uh, the mascara in a while. So yeah, I want to test it out again. Okay, so this is a volumizing treatment. And from what I can remember, there is something in here to help with your uh, lashes to grow. I want to say it was biotin or something, but I'll place that along here. But let's check out the wand. So yeah, it's definitely an old school a wand. So it looks like that. And plus it's been open for quite some time. So it should work out really well. Yeah, it does grab the lashes nicely. And it's not looking a clumpy. Mm, it's not looking clumpy or anything. I think when I re uh, reviewed it the first time, you know, it was fresh out of the tube. So you guys know mascaras, if they sit around for a little bit, we tend to like them a little better. Now, I make it a huge mess, and if this flicks away easy, I'm going to be super happy. If this starts a smudging, I'm going to be really mad because I really love this eye look. Okay, so what I'll do is two coats on each eye. I'll come back and we'll take a look at what it looks like then. Okay, so that is a two coats. Honestly, I don't even think I needed a two coats. I would have been happy with just the one coat. It really did create volume and length. Okay, let's see how it does flick. Oh, thank God. It flicks away just beautifully. Yeah, not a problem whatsoever. Oh, that's what I love to see. So, yeah, I really do like that mascara. Um, I'll let you guys know because, like I said, I haven't used it in a very long time. I'll let you know if it's smeared or anything like that. Um, came off any <laughs> any problems with it. I'll let you guys know either here or in the description box. So I know you guys will be going to the description box because you want to win that a giveaway. Okay, so let's do a lipstick. And what I brought down um, is this lip a lip liner here by Maybelline. I love these lip liners. These are really nice. It's their a uh, lift. Um, I think yeah, the lift liner. And this is in the shade on it. So I've been using this uh, like crazy. And honestly, i not a huge fan of, you know, the ones you have to sharpen, but I think I've gotten better at sharpening them, sharpening them. So let's apply that. And I'm just going to overline just slightly. These just glide on beautifully. And honestly, they're so nice that you could just use them as your lipstick and apply like a lip gloss over it. I mean, they're that good. So for lipstick, I brought down Allie Glines, a new shades. Uh, she came out with three new shades of the, uh, her lipsticks. And honestly, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'll place like a little short video here. Actually, I think I already posted uh, that. So if you want to see them in action, I'll place that somewhere around here. But um, the two I'm debating against today is called Z a Xenia, I believe, a Xenia. So it's that shade here. And the other one is called Verbena. Um, so that one is more like of a rich brown berry. It is so beautiful. So I'll just swatch a couple. So that is Verbena, I believe that is called. Oh, absolutely stunning. I might be wearing uh, both of these today. I haven't mixed uh, the two before. And what I love about her lipsticks is they're both buildable. So this is like a brown a beige. So let's mix the two and see um, if we can tell the difference. So I'm just going to do the top lip here with Zinnia. Mm, so beautiful. And then the lower lip here with, um, again, this is called Verbena. And... You guys will be able to see the two different shades. Mm, she's been doing that a lot too. It's kind of mixing of the two. So, mm, or, you know, not th this combo, but she's done other combos and it's brilliant, you know, because you can make a completely a different a lip shade. So, and they're so comfortable and creamy 
absolutely love them. You guys know how I feel about Allie Glines. I think she's absolutely brilliant. Uh, they're, her and her husband both in marketing, um, the products that they come out with, oh, it's just amazing. Okay, so let's uh, try this here. You know, see how waterproof it is because I'm going to douse this with a water. Okay, so there we go. Wow, you guys. It is not. They are not. I mean. <laughs> and I will say this eye has been watering this whole time. It's staying. Um, I'm going to let you guys know in the comments somewhere, either here or somewhere, to let you know how it lasted on the eye. The waterline is still on the waterline. Super happy about the um, eyeliners. They applied very um, easily. They're just very creamy, very pigmented. I love the shade selection. Love that. I love uh, the foundation. I, I've known that. I've used it several times, so it's a really nice foundation. Long wearing. I love that it has SPF in it, so love that. And I love this palette. I think, you know, just from the packaging, uh, the shades in it, you know, it's a great neutral palette. And the only other shade I didn't use um, was this one here, so let me just swatch that really quick for you guys so you can see uh, what it looks like. But yeah, it's really a pretty pretty shade. So love that palette. Um, uh, the elf blushes, you guys know, and the, um, or actually the primer infused uh, series. I love these. These are wonderful. Again, it's very smoothing on mature skin. They last a long time. So uh, I think I need more <laughs> blush on this side. Um, I absolutely love this rare rare beauty a uh, powder this is constantly in my purse again that's why i even brought it in on the channel because i have it in my purse at all times um i love the primer i use this um a lot miss aoa and of course you know that i love ally glines lipstick and I love these lip aligners. So my hair's a little crazy right now. Okay, so you guys don't forget to go down the description box. Again, everything will be listed that I use today on my shirt, the nail polish. I'll list all that. And again, you know, for the giveaway, all the rules. And because this is an amazing uh, giveaway, I'm so glad that I saved it till now. You know, now that I have 8,000 subscribers, I want to keep growing. So again, share my videos, especially this one. Uh, if you think somebody would want to get in the giveaway, one of your friends. Uh, yeah, again, share my videos. Please engage. Write a comment or an emoji and like the video. It truly helps me out and I just want to keep growing because I want to stay here for a very, very long time. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. It really helps me. I can't wait to see you guys again. I love you so much and until next time.